So this is a simple PSO algorithm. Okay. So here we have to provide the number of population size, number of parameter we have to optimize everything, and then uh, and this code will be executed as per uh, a PSO algorithm. Okay, and then finally it will be provide optimal value for a number of uh, decision variable or dimension. And right? here we are consider uh, the number of uh, decision variable di dimension which is equal to five. So finally we will get a phi optimal uh, value. So that phi optimal value. So here you can see that Ka, Kp, and Kc and then kd and ke so so these are going to be considered as a tunable parameter in this sliding mode controller so this is sliding mode controller right so this is sliding mode controller so here uh, we are using uh, the ps2 sliding mode controller based variable structure is being by mppt right that means this sliding mode controller will be tuned by means of PSO and then this sliding mode controller will be provide uh, the variable step size for that p and mbpt so here you can see that so the p and mbpt receive two inputs voltage and another input nothing but a del, del t del t nothing but a small change in duty cycle or a step size okay so this Step size is going to be taken from this controller. Uh, so inside you can see that so this is sliding mode controller equation. Okay. So this sliding mode controller equation. So here you can see that there are uh, uh, three tunable parameters like KA, KB, and KC. And KA, DV nothing but uh, change in voltage and current. Okay. And also here you can see that there are two tunable parameters K and KE. So this is going to be tuned by means of PSO. So we need to find out the optimal value for KA, KB, KC and KD, KE. So that going to be uh, obtained from the PSO algorithm. So once you execute this one, right? Once you execute this one, uh, that going to be find the optimal value for that term. KA, KP. KC, KD, and KE. So once you execute, right, this model, this model will be executed here, and then for every value, uh, that mean every set of value of KA to KD, right. So it will be find out the objective function. So here objective function. So this is the objective function we are created here. So we are sending the value of KA, KB, and K up to KE right to that uh, sliding mode controller from the PSO. So finally, we are measuring the error. So error we are taking from here, right? So here uh, we are fixing that the maximum. Uh, that means here we are using the PV panel is 250 watts PV panel. So the maximum power we are fixing 250, and then here we are measuring the load power, right? And then we are separating that uh, maximum power with uh, that means uh, theoretical maximum power with the uh, load power, and then we are taking absolute error value. So here we are um, minimizing the error between uh, the power generation and the load power. Okay, so this is going to be act as objective function value in this model. Okay, so that will be going to be optimized here. Okay, uh, from the PSO MBPT algorithm. So here you can see that there are total uh, pop population size will be 4 and uh, the maximum iteration we are considered as 10, right? So here it can be uh, executed, that PSO can be executed for uh, 10, uh, iteration that will be 10 into 4 and then we will get around 40, 44 times of uh, function evaluation, right? And after that we will get the, the final uh, the tunable value for KA, KP, and KC. Okay, so we will wait for that uh, the completion of optimization. So, till now, uh, three iterations completed. Okay, so after. Uh, 10th iteration will get the result. So, already complete the model and then 
already we find out the value of k k p k c k d and k e okay uh, that uh, detail will be available in the in this model okay so here you can right click this model explore and go to here model workspace so here you can see this is the final value we are getting getting from the pso right so after 10th iteration so okay this is the final model so here i'm going to explain how to take the results so this first i explained about the pso part right now i'm going for a result section so here i'm we are wearing that high radiation every 0.2 seconds right 1800 600 400 and then you can uh, see the result here right that been uh, power of uh, pv and load and voltage of uh, pv and load and then current of pv and load okay so just you to open all uh, detail right here so here you have to concentrate on that pv power alone okay just go to play this one so this is a result we are getting around 250 watts for 1000 watts per meter square for pv we are getting around 200 and for 600 we are getting around 150 for 400 we are getting around 100 watts per meter square okay so this is working of this model Okay, thank you.